Like, K9, K9 had to be Tatanator to get this far. You right. Know? It's not your typical fourth place resume, that's for right. sure. Like, oh, hey, if you get the bracket, if you get the Christmas bracket you know, a month early, good on you. But we'll see, like, how far can the Christmas miracle run. If you want to be something thankful for, be thankful for this bracket, Rhino Dude. Because by tomorrow, like, that's when you got to show your thanks, man. I know, hoping the magic isn't over. I'll have to see how he approaches this matchup against K9. Rhino dude, definitely showing that like, hey, you know what? I may not have the most impressive resume to get up here, but I've definitely gotten this up through skill. And I was about to say he's trying to show his best, but then he just gets down smash and dies at 70. And not oh only got the strong hit of dash attack as well. No, that down smash, that was down smash. I, that's correct, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Yeah. Kills at 60 at the ledge, so even if you're not even, oh my what goodness, he did it again. Oh my god, that that was disgusting. Like, okay, the first one, fine, but the second one, like, ugh. K9's okay. just unrelenting, going straight for this up air string through the platform to Shark. What a finisher! Gets the flash to cap off the three stock and takes game one in the flashiest style imaginable. Oh my god, K9 is a wolf saying that like, okay, little sheep, I'm coming down to eat you up for Thanksgiving. I mean, My lord. are just natural predators. They yeah. have their prey in their sights and they just pounce. Okay. K9's just like, I'll take this uh, uh, free lunch to, to loser finals. I mean, that was the most nonchalant reaction to what was, I think the hypest play I've seen all day. And here we go. Rhino dude, like, how do you recover from that? You know, because yet again, I feel like he definitely wasn't playing bad. It's just K9 was just playing better. Yeah, you have to put that behind you and fast. I think the switch to Battlefield will help him. It does well for most zoners, and Samus is no exception, but have to make some sort of switch in game plan that comes along with it. You yeah, know, we started seeing a lot more upbeats out of shield from Rhino dude. So I feel like his main goal is just like, okay, he the second he touches me, I'm dead or like dying in the process. I'm bleeding out from the hip. So the goal of the game is don't get hit, you know? Like stay out of his range, don't keep my range, keep up the wall and punish him when I can with that forward smash. Ooh, that was so good. Doing what he was parry. unable to in the entirety of game one and that is take a stop. Rhino finally on the board, but using that whole invincibility to get around the down smash too. You want to know the ironic thing about Samus' roll right there? Is that it was so slow that the that the down, that the back hit of the down smash ended before Samus could even get there. I think that's just, if that's not the most tragic thing, it just, have, I, it does do that because it shifts the hurt box, so that is the trade-off. I mean, that, that's not even an issue of like, sh of like hurt box shifting. That's just like, it's so slow that like, it was still in the invincibility part of the roll. Right. I mean, you know what? The, the, the pick two battlefields, definitely good for Rhino Dude, you know? And when you have an amazing lead like this, you know, you just gotta take it as far as you can. You know, 127%, if you can just find a stock, you know, you can just sit very comfortably for this final walk. After that far-reaching hitbox of the up smash out of shield, Canines has to find some answer. Maybe this grab combo will be the start of things. Put 38% off of that one grab. And yet again, just keeping up the pressure. Red the air dodge, trying going for the down air, but you know, it just barely misspaces it, so it doesn't find its mark. Yeah, Canines has shown a willingness to go off stage, which is not something you see from every wolf player. Some of them are just content to ledge guard, but not Canines. He will go for these back airs. And you saw how deep he went, you know, Rhino just thought like, okay, he's out this deep, I can throw out a, a, a plasma shot. No, did not find it in time, and you know what, he lost the stock, he lost the lead from that. And you know what, he really needs to find an answer to K9's oppression because he's letting this lead slip out from underneath his fingers. And he got the parry there, but instead of going for the grab afterwards, he just went for one hit of rapid jab. I'm not quite sure he was prepared for that. I mean, yet again, like, Samus' jabs, like, you only get that one hit, mm -hmm. and then you gotta mix it up into something else, because that second hit is definitely not true, which apparently is a feature of Samus. Like, that was intentionally made by the developers. Wild time we live in. Canine's gonna shark through the platform with a fair. Rhino about 50% down. You know 
Sakuraba, but 50%, not a whole lot of damage for Samus to make up. You know, that's only like one or two charge shots. Can't roll in to avoid the dash attack, but Dano still running out of breathing room here. All right, and we know K9, oh my god! No, that up smash, literally it, it hit, destroyed the missile and sucked Samus into the void right and there. Samus was extending her hitbox because of the grab animation as well after the missile came out. So right, but when you extend the arm out to shoot out the missile, that, that cannon's just like, haha, I shall grab your cannon arm with my tippy toes. And therefore, because I hit you with my tippy toes, you got sent straight up to the heavens. Oh my god. You just break danced on him right there. Hit him with the uh, ooh. Well, that up smash is just such a strong, strong up smash in this game. It doesn't have particularly potent kill power compared to most other up smashes in this game, but what it does have is a quick amount of startup and a pretty good amount of scooping range as well. I would say that, like, even, like, kill power, like, it's it's definitely not bad. Like, it's probably, like, top 20 kill power. Oh, my goodness. Is he dead? Ugh, like, I, I know we saw, like, early stocks from game one. But I know there's just like, yeah, well, I, I have early stocks of my own. But we saw how game two went. No, he got those early stocks there, but still wasn't enough to stop K9's rampage. And this time it's gonna be Rhino Dude who takes that first stock very early. Have to see the response from K9. Went deep in the bear, but he. Oh no! That was an amazing reversal from Rhino Dude right there. Rhino just interrupted the flash with that down air. You can beat it with pretty much any hitbox. And Rhino was more than willing to take the gamble. And now we see K9 you know, just trying to throw out all these hitboxes, you know, trying to extend the lead back, you know? Oh, from Rhino putting K9 at 68. Ooh, I love the up B to catch the air dodge, potentially. Yeah, that screw attack putting in the work. Back throw is going to put him off stage, giving the opportunity for a bit of charge. And you know what? That was an a... Okay, yeah, he, he he gave up at that point. Yeah. Yep. He he saw Samus charging to charge on a ledge, be like, okay, I know the bomb is coming. I know the up tilt is going to catch what other option I put out. And because after, it always does. Yeah, after that downer, it seemed like K9's was already mentally in that game four. And right. you could really see he was just looking for He thought it was a sunk investment. Yeah. But, I mean, no, that was only game three, so this is... No, K9's counterpick for games four and five. All right, going for the Smashville. And, yep, definitely staying wolf. Here we go. No, Rhino did definitely made. Quick work of K9 in that game three, but you know, can he make uh, that comeback yet again? You know, he kind of got lucky with that down air. He already did it once. Can he execute that same game plan two more times? Is it luck or is it skill at this point? Only time will tell. Here we go, Rhino Dude. Starting off fairly even versus K9, you know, and yet again, I'm more inclined to believe that this is. You now, Rhino Dude finally settling into the matchup, you now learning, like, okay, this is what I need to do in order to beat K9. And definitely, you know, bobbing and weaving a little bit better against the Wolf now. Yeah, and a lot of his neutral play has just improved drastically since he knows what options K9 wants to go for, especially at center stage. Right. We definitely see Rhino Dude probably adapting faster than K9 has been. Well, until that game three, K9 really didn't feel any need to make any adaptations. The same things that worked in game one worked even better in game two. I mean, but even then, like, game two, like, he could have easily lost that match, but just barely clutched it out. And, oh, I love that, baiting out the air dog, or the grab, and jumping over it. Actually managing to avoid that up smash, but... Who knows for how much longer that tilt just off the mark and that back air from K9s is going to be the punishment afterwards. There we go. There's the Zare. No. Try and baiting out something. Gets the down tilt. Not going to be enough, but not going to be able to sneak in the back air. No. K9 wisely air dodging right past that. Second it fares is going to be met with the down air, but unable to get the up air afterwards. 
And again, K9 just swiftly going from ledge with an offensive option. You know, that's kind of what you have to do if you know, Samus does not have her trap set up. You know, you got to be as aggro as possible. Force with the blaster. Wino picked the perfect moment to unleash that charge shot. Finally getting that first dot gone. Right. You know, 190%. You know, it's definitely a long percent to live against uh, any character, really. Charge shot to interrupt the ledge pressure. But you know what? That back air will snipe out the normal get up or even the jump from ledge. Yeah, it kills at much lower percents than that, and especially at the ledge. Getting the trip off of the down tail, but you know what? Not gonna be able to find anything much off of it. Oh, red the roll in, but you know what? His down air just didn't come out in time. To attack and invades the platform. K9's guessed right on the 50 50. There we go, getting the jump, you know. K9's off stage, but man, just to air dodge through the fair. Not gonna be able to avoid the up B though. Tech chase F throw. Oh, he tried catching the end lag of the fourth match, but you know what? Just a little bit too late. It's fully aware that the charge shot was partially on deck. Oh, but the upside scooping him, not going to be enough to kill. K9 looking to end the set before Rhino Duke can get any momentum. Oh, but no, he jabs him, and that unfortunately cancels out the momentum from the charge shot, but gets the down smash from the ledge roll. Every morph ball and every interaction, every charge shot, every grab attempt is going to have to be on point. Oh my, ugh. Will not even be afforded the opportunity. K9's two frames in with that downward angle left tilt. I mean, did you see where that connected from? Like, K9 was just like, okay, my claws like are at the very edge right here. And like your helmet, like kind of like jumped into that. I mean, I'm equally disgusted and I play that character, so. All right, so now we have the run back of Charlie versus K9. You know, you gotta wonder, you know, are we gonna see the Wolf Dittos from the beginning this time? Yeah, this one went the distance in winners going to five games, but of course Charlie and K9's both started